drink and finish with a leaf. This is a tuna cone. This is quail leg on. This is the steak pot, this is the lobster taco pot. The wagyu is very really fresh. The potato chips are fresh, and the sauce is also a little bit sweet. I like the contrast of texture between the beef and the potato chips, and I also like the slight char that they have on the outside. Made with the skin of the cuttlefish. We put also sauce made with tomatoes, sesame seeds, and also quail egg tomatoes. This is mushroom and fish roll, and I'm gonna try the egg roll. I'm, I'm gonna try the fish roll. This is a mushroom with a quail so egg. Right. So the second way to do it is with all three of them together. 
This is an artichoke tempura with quail egg and some fish roe on top. This baby cuttlefish with uh, olive oil and cheese sauce. They also have homemade bread to dip with the sauce. This is sea urchin with pork stripe sauce, and also there's more homemade bread to go with the sauce. This is a pear sashimi with cold pears, wasabi, and olive oil. This is a custard made out of sweet potato and orange zest. The cream is very light and also it's a little sweet while the sauce is a little tender and it balances out the flavors. I had a very pleasant experience at Pakta and I really enjoyed the variety of different types of food that they had and the flavors of the food were just right for me. My favorite would probably be the chocolate cake at the end because it was really good. My favorite dishes were the red mullet and the shaved ice cream. Um, and I also liked the finger food section because it was an interesting way of serving food and the flavors and textures were also different. It was also interesting to watch the chefs cook the food at the bar and the seafood was also very fresh and good.